back today with a brand new Dollar Tree haul. I'm sure or hopefully you guys have been seeing all the fabulous new Dollar Tree shop with us is that we have been putting up lately. And so today we're going to share a little of the Dollar Tree treasure that we've picked up and everything we're sharing is a dollar twenty five. So yep. Yeah awesome prices Ooh, and by the way hey everybody it's shelby with a chick plus three and this is no so we're really happy to see you we hope you're in for a little dollar tree fun and some chit chat we'd love your company so we hope you'll stick around what do you say let's go let's go So this first item that I want to share, I was really excited by this because I was shocked. I thought that it was just misplaced in the store oh. and it was going to be a plus item, not only a dollar twenty-five. Look at this. It's nice. Impressive, huh? Yep. It's huge. The quality is really nice. I mean, this is sturdy. It's the Shore Living, guys, which I love the Shore Living line from the Dollar Tree. It has this little faux leather handle, and I've been seeing these out in other colors, and some um, maybe like more oval shape, just a little bit shaped differently because I think they're each made individually. Oh, yeah. yeah, so you can just kind of pick through. I wanted one that was like deeper and more round so that was why i picked this one but really nice quality basket for a dollar 25. Mm -hmm. so i thought maybe what we would do is put this uh like inside our front door and where you put like your wallet and just whatever empty out your pockets <laughs> exactly keys so perfect for that type of thing Hey, did uh, anyone out there burn their retinas from the uh, from the eclipse? You weren't supposed to look at. I hope not. <laughs> Bill kept telling me, "Don't look, don't look." We had you so much that? discussion. Don't look. Don't look at that. We had so much discussion <laughs> about not looking at it, and him, you know, lecturing the grandkids like everybody, "Don't look at the eclipse. Don't look at the eclipse." And then we're out in the backyard, and he's like. There, yeah, through the trees. <laughs> there it is. Where? And then I have my camera, and I'm looking. And you know, when you're famous, they let you look at the eclipse. I, I burned my retinas one day, and then the next day I went for a walk in the sun. The first time I had the sun in a long time, mm -hmm. and I burned my face. I came home, and you know, you noticed it. Yeah, and that said, <laughs> you're not wearing your Dollar Tree sunscreen. I have like no. <laughs> For, you definitely should not be getting sunburned and Bill's famous excuse is always what I didn't think it was going to be sunny I didn't think it was going to be sunny or I'll be out that long but definitely especially this time of year like going forward mm -hmm. like April through October you just got to spray that sunscreen on you know to mm -hmm. protect your skin because also him being on all his anti-rejection meds one of the side effects is it lowers your tolerance to whatever Sun. the U yeah. U V like the most dangerous rays, and so um, it like changes your skin, I guess. So it's extra important yeah. for you. But whatever, that's a little PSA. Everybody, wear your sunscreen, please. And get it from the Dollar Tree. Is that a good price for that stuff? I think so. I yeah. love the Dollar Tree sunscreen and. We got the the one that Bill's been using came from the Dollar Tree. It's the it's a name brand, yeah. but it's the pump spray one. So yeah, you can get great deals at it. But you can even whatever. Not to go off on a, a whole tangent, but um, if you don't even like just like how the straight sunscreen feels, and you have a moisturizer or a face oil you like, put some sunscreen in that and mix it That's up, and that like you know just adds another like base layer add a little sunscreen to everything your moisturizer your tinted moisturizer uh, you can never have too much you know what i found what's that 
a strainer, a sink strainer. Not just any sink strainer. This is a rubber one, rubberized one. Now I've tried both of them. I tried the uh, the, the steel metal, one. metal. That's the one we have right now. Yeah, and I've had the rubber before. Exactly. Now, I prefer the rubber because it's easier to keep clean. That metal, uh, that metal mesh captures even the smallest pieces of uh, vegetable material or meat, and you can't shake it loose. Yeah. The trouble, though, with the uh, strainer that is uh, plastic is they don't last that long when you're using a lot of hot water. They tend to crack down the middle, but I still prefer the plastic. This also, it comes in red and mm -hmm. gray at our Dollar Tree. Yeah, what I find, though, what deteriorates this rubbery stuff mm -hmm. is the cleaning products. Oh, it started to turn, we had a red one, and it started to turn white. white yeah. And over time, it got thin, and then that's when it cracked. Yeah, I like to pour boiling water down my uh, down my sink to keep everything clean and get the grease out. So it probably shortens the life as well. Well, what you should do is just take it out of the drain before you pour the it's boiling water. It's an extra water. step. I, I guess I could. <laughs> if that's what's ruining it, I thought it was the cleaning product. Could be a combination. If you're really. telling me it's you pouring boiling water over it daily, then just take this out of the drain before you pour the okay. water. Okay. So, but a dollar twenty-five and. I pick these up and I pass them along also to like household members. Mm -hmm. I've given these to our, you know, kids households. So nice little, what, like uh everyday product at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. And did we ever say it is called a sink strainer? <laughs> a strainer. <laughs> Going to get technical. All right. Now. I don't want to rush the seasons. I actually did just take Easter down. Yeah. And that's just because Easter was observed so early this year. Our stuff had been up. I don't know. I was just kind of in the mood to get it down. But I'm not going to now, like, decorate for summer. But as I've been showing you all, there's a ton of summer decor out at the Dollar Tree and patriotic decor out at the Dollar Tree and where my stuff is still all packed away in bins in the cellar. I don't want to be getting a lot, but I saw this. I've never seen these before. I had to pick it up and I know in the store I mentioned I thought they would look great on a tiered tray. So look at this, everybody. These are Glitter Star gift boxes, but it says you get four pieces. So I'm going to open it up because I wonder if there's, if one of these has two colors because it's red, blue, and silver. And the quality is looking really nice. I don't know. Let me get it out of this and then maybe the glitter effect will come through better. But I thought that you could just make these. You obviously can use them to put a gift in, but my intention is just to make them and then use them as display pieces. Oh. They're pretty hefty. But mine are all red. Are you sure? Oh, Maybe goodness. it's white on the back. Nope. You know what? Four pieces. You know what, guys? I bet if I had flipped <laughs> over the packages in the store, I would have found each color theme. Well, I'm glad I'm showing you all so you get four. This is good cardstock. It's really nice. But look at all those scored lines. It's kind of making my brain hurt to figure out how to put it together. Lots of folding. I can see the star outline in it. Yeah, you want the star. So easy. An eight-year-old can do it, so you better go get an eight-year-old. Oh, yeah, and it has all the little tabs. Yeah, the tabs. All right, so it goes something like that. There's the little hole there for the tabs. And when you put it together, it, it's a little, it looks like a little rounded box, to tell you the truth. Well, no, but see, it comes out very star-shaped. Well, yeah, but if you see there's a roundness there, that's the top. 
All right, let's see. I can shut the camera off. We can see if we can put one together and show you guys. <laughs> All right, guys. So I think I maybe have it upside down, but um, and I could have done a better job of folding, but that's what the little gift box is going to look like. So as I say, I was assuming I was getting the red, silver, and blue. So if you're interested in these, what is it, four pack of these little gift boxes to use for gifts or decor, just flip it over and check the color on the back. And they are a little bit tricky to fold. Like I say, this one looks kind of sloppy because it took me a bunch of tries. But it's, it's a good thing to have four of them because you need to try three of them before you get it right. <laughs> no, just one. I picked up some rice when I was there. What is this? This is, uh, feels like two pounds. It is. Yeah, two pounds. Two pounds of rice. You know what we use the rice for? We like to uh, augment our dog's uh, dog food with some rice. Mm -hmm. So that's cheap dog food, if you ask me. And we eat it, obviously, ourselves, too. I cook this all the time in the rice cooker for ourselves and the dogs. I was trying to see where it's made. Does it say? Do you remember, Bill? Uh, it's probably like uh, Malaysia or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know. But the best used by date is uh, October 2026. So long shelf life. Mm -hmm. And then we needed some of our hand soap. I love getting these refills. This is just the spa soap, uh, aloe and chamomile cream soap refill, 32 fluid ounces. And of course, as you guys, I'm sure all know, is just see the majority of them have no inner seal. So before you check out, just make sure that's on nice and tight because if this thing pops open, all your Dollar Tree treasure is going to be covered in soft soap. You know, I ran out of mayonnaise, so when I was at the, at the Dollar Tree, I just grabbed some mayonnaise. It's a cup. It's only eight ounces, but it's craft. It's real mayo. Uh, when I use it, I use it a dab at a time, and I don't like those big bottles that you may be able to get a little cheaper, but then, you know, you have to worry about whether the mayonnaise is going bad after a while. Oh, yeah, that's true. And the shelf life, August 2024. So that's a good deal. Mm -hmm. Like I said, name brand craft. Yeah, eight fluid ounces. I myself don't like mayonnaise, so that works out well. It lasts a You're bit for you. Yeah. yeah. But these I do like, the gold medal English muffins. These are out of Fall River, six English muffins for $1.25. That is a great deal. So... We try to pick up a lot of baked goods. The thing about these English muffins compared to other English muffins, now this is just my opinion, I think this has a sourdough taste to it. Do you? Yeah, if you yeah. like sourdough. I I just like them because to me they're um, like hearty, substantial. Right. Some English muffins are like, I know people say, ooh, nooks and crannies, but some are like, airy what i don't like so this is a thing what i don't like what i've noticed as prices have gone up some of the grocery store english muffins the english muffins more like that fluffy white bread like inside yeah, one to bread consistency and yeah. i'm not a huge fan of that so these maybe are that's these are kind of dense the, the nooks and crannies dough. are very small they're not like the big nooks and yeah. crannies so that's at the density the so yeah. i i prefer the the can't, flavor of you can't these. go wrong with these these are yeah. cheaper than than hannaford store brand uh, yes. english muffins yeah. are always cheaper than hannaford yeah so. so for us this is the best deal going a dollar 25 so we made sure to grab those oh and another fantastic deal for a dollar 25 bill you got that yeah ocean spray cra craisins mm -hmm. dried cranberries you really can't beat the deal for a buck twenty-five. You cannot. You get uh, four and a half ounces, but I'm telling you, that's a lot of cranberries. It is. It yeah. really is. You can put them in your uh, your baking products. Uh, I like to put this on my cereal, mm -hmm. uh, my oatmeal, uh, and it lasts me a, a good amount of time. And it, it, I had to get it because I finally ran out of the ones I was actually using. Yeah, because yeah. I do try to stockpile these a little bit because, again, they're 
more than that at the grocery store mm -hmm. where we've looked at like Ocean State Job Lot, yep. Walmart. We cannot get them for this price. Ocean Spray is, is a good United States company. Mm -hmm. Many times it's uh, made in Massachusetts, but there are other parts of the northern uh, part of the United States that they can make cranberries as well, grow cranberries. Uh, and they have uh, pro they have producers all over the uh, all over the United States. Yep. So if you need a gluten free, peanut free product, there you go. The cranberries. Oh, and then Bill, you also grabbed this. I needed. Uh, I've been doing a lot of baking, uh, so I'm all out of my uh, brown sugar. This is light brown sugar, but it's brand uh, brand name Domino. And the other day, I just did a price check. Uh, this same box at our. Uh, at our store, our grocery store is is more than a dollar twenty five, mm -hmm. so it's cheaper. You only get your break is when you buy two pounds at a time. It tends to get cheaper at the grocery store. But if you're just looking for a small box, again, you don't want this stuff to go uh, hard because when it gets old, it goes hard. Mm -hmm. You just get it a pound at a time. The Dollar Tree has a good price. And then you also picked oh, this yeah. up. Yeah, I'm also out of the baking soda. I make I make an apple cake that uses baking powder and uh, brown sugar. And that's why. But I'm out. this is baking soda. Did I say powder? Yeah. Baking soda. <laughs> that's I just mean. I'm I worry that sometimes that's the mistake you make. Like he'll bake something and then no. He'll say the last mistake I made good. is I I put in two t uh, teaspoons of the baking soda, and I'd only needed one. Oh, and right. uh, but anyway, this is Arm and Hammer. <clears throat> Again, this is very cheap at the dollar store for Arm and Hammer. Uh, but you can get it cheaper at the grocery store when you buy their brand name. Mm -hmm. uh, but for Arm and Hammer, buck twenty-five seems to be the best price. Right. So if yeah. you want the brand to name one, that's what. That's what you do. You get it at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, dollar twenty-five for that. And then this is another repeat buy of yours, Bill. You get Always this get a those. lot. Yeah. Do I have it the right way? You guys see that? The trash bags. Yeah. Now, what I couldn't find was sometimes you can get them at 15 count, but this is a 13 count probably because they have the ties. Oh, you get yeah, the 15 no. count with the no tie. Yeah. 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 It, when they give you the bo bonus box, mm -hmm. lots of times they'll have a little red X over this number and write the bonus number next to it. But 13 is one of the larger uh, amounts that you can get for, was that a 13? It shows you the 13 size gallon bag. Yeah, yeah, 13 gallon 13 bag. 13 gallon. So uh, I never had a problem with them. They don't rip on me. Yeah. Uh, the ties are nice and convenient. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, because of the dog messes around, I, I'm constantly changing bags and needed to get a new box of them. Yep. Yep. So, and they're green briars. So if it's, you know, something you're looking for, you should be able to find it. And these particular ones that Bill picked up are unscented. But of course, you guys know at the Dollar Tree, they sell scented mm -hmm. garbage bags, all different sizes, styles. They have the name brand ones too, like Clorox and Glad. Yeah. We just go for not only more for our money, because right, guys, like if you are getting more for your money, but the bag is like a baggie and it just keeps ripping, well, then that's not a bargain. What we're talking about is we're finding quality things. So to me, these bags work just as well as a, you know, the Clorox or the Glad one, but we're getting more of them for the dollar twenty-five. So why not? And there's got to be only so many companies like that make this stuff. I think there's crossover, you know, that just goes in different packaging. Because when you pull it out of the box, half the time you can't even tell the difference from what it was. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining Bill and I in today's brand new Dollar Tree haul. We will be back again tomorrow, I believe this time with a vlog. We got some exciting stuff coming up, so we hope you'll be back to join us. And if you want to watch more Dollar Tree content right now, just click on the pictures here at the end, and it will bring you to another video, and you can keep the Dollar Tree party a rolling. But as always, our friends, until next time, remember... Please be well.